In this video, we're going to talk about customizing the login page. So in order to do so, in your dashboard, you're going to go to Website, and in this list, you're going to scroll down to where it says Login and click Customize. So this is the login screen or the login page that we are going to make some changes to. Now, the first thing we should do is tab over to Settings. And then over on the right-hand side, let's start editing this form. We'll highlight it and select edit. Now we're going to add an image up here. If you don't have one up here, maybe it's just blank. I've already added mine, but you, you're, so you might not have anything here. So in order to add your image or your logo or whatever you want, just go to select image and you can either upload a new file. All right. That would be from any one of these options, which you probably know how to do by now. I'm going to just select an image that I've already uploaded. So we can say select a recent file. And just to show you a little bit of a difference, I probably will click this one. Here it is. And if you need to crop it, I'm just going to make it a little bit more narrow. There we go. And I'm going to hit save. And now you'll see it up here. All right. You could have this verbiage change. You don't have to say sign into your account. I'm just going to leave it there. I don't see any reason to change it. Email, text, I'm going to have it say email. Password, I'm going to have it say password. There's a really pretty standard. Remember me and forget, forgot password. Again, I'm not going to change those. That's what pre, pretty much people around the world know what these mean. And so why change it? Um, all right, sign in button. Again, I'm going to leave these all the way they are. Button size, if you want to change it to small, I like the medium, it looks better. Button width, full width, don't, I wouldn't really change it. And let's see, okay, so let's hit save. All right, so nothing really showed up other than the, the image. And again, if you don't see your image, it's probably because this is not checked. So just check that. Okay, now let's go back to our options in our settings. You can upload your favicon. I just have my little face here, but in order to do that, you can hit select. Now it does take some time for the favicon to show up or favicon. So I'm just gonna again, select a recent file. And I have this little uh, icon that I use a lot. And you can crop it as needed. Obviously it's not the right resolution. So I'm just doing this for, for this course sake. All right, so again, make sure it's 32 by 32 and hit save. All right, let's continue with the customization by clicking on the back button. And let's go to typography. Here we can change the color. So if we don't want this dark, dark, dark color, we can certainly lighten it up a little bit. But again, I, you know, I, I unless you have a really strong reason to changing these, the colors, I would just leave it. Um, yeah, of course, if you have a font in your brand, change that. I had already changed this. I happen to love this one, Montserrat. And you can leave those normal or bold. I'm going to leave it as bold. Open Sans is really the text in here. Uh, hero section, header size, I wouldn't really worry about that. And again, let's just hit save. All right. And so the, really the only thing you can see here that it changed the font. All right, now let's go back, continue on, and we're going to color scheme. Here's where you can customize the color of this button. So we can do, you know, you can also do this by clicking edit, but first let's do this. Okay, first we're going to do this. I'm going to change it to this lighter green. Again, if you have a specific brand color and you have the hexadecimal code or the hex code, you can add it here or you can use the slider. Okay, so let's say... We've got that thing going on, and that's going to be our button color. All right, now offset. I'm going to leave these other ones as is and hit save. Now we've got this button and the forgot password because it's our primary. So it's really anything that's going to draw your attention, like any kind of thing that you can click and have things do. So that is now that pinkish color. All right, let's go back, continue on. Message colors, we've talked about this before. For instance, if you didn't put in a valid email or your password was incorrect, if you get a danger or something, you want it in red. That's what people are going to be looking for. Um, so if there's something else you need for any kind of message, just just leave these as kind of industry standards and really global standards. You know, think about your 
traffic sign with green is go. You know, you got a warning and of course red is danger. All right. So I wouldn't touch those. Password recovery. When you click on the forgot password, I'm not going to do it right now, but it's going to come up with a form very similar. You know, you know those uh, anytime you needed to reset that. So basically your form is going to say recover, uh, recover password and email uh, and secondary, uh, send recovery info and login. Okay. Just leave these as standard. Don't touch them. Um, for the same reason, again, with the password reset, leave these here. These are, again, are really the standard norms that people are going to be looking for and un already understand what they mean. All righty. And then we have the comment sections. If you're using discuss, you can click on, click on that. I don't really think you need that in this thing. And for general appearance, if you want to change the page background, by all means, go ahead. You can have a nice picture in the background. I don't think I have one readily available, but if we just want to do change the page color, so maybe I want to match my branding a little bit. I'm going to do that. Maybe I'll click in here and I'm going to drop the opacity. It's not so, so green and I'm going to hit save. And then you'll see that the background has indeed changed. Okay. Leave the container width as the default. You know, you could go full width and all that, you know, it's up to you. It's a matter of choice. Let's try the full width. I, see, I don't know why it hasn't changed. I would just leave it as the default. Okay. And now we're back to here. And that is really it. You know, I really don't think there's a whole heck of a lot. Oh, if we could go, I forgot to tell you this. If you're going to click on the edit button over the sign in button, again, you can, you can sign into your account, change the stuff here that we already talked about change the button style. We've done, we've talked about this. So it's really nothing different. Again, um, it's one or two, you know, there's a couple ways to access. You can edit this here, or like we said in the beginning of this video, hover over the entire thing and click the main edit button. Alrighty. That is how you customize the student's login page. All right. I will see you in the next lecture.